Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your router history. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, let's open up your settings here on your iPhone, on your Android, or on a computer here as well. And first, we're going to go into your Wi-Fi. So on your mobile phone, let's tap on Wi-Fi. And then you can see I'm connected to this Luddite and Neolite. I can tap the little I right next to it. What I'm looking for is if I scroll down, you'll be able to see it says router and right next to it is the IP address starting in 192. Most of the time yours will start in 192.168 dot a number dot another number. So what I'm going to do is tap to copy that router IP address. After you've done that, we're just going to open up a web page here and we're going to paste that specific IP address. Keep in mind, this only works if you're connected to that router at basically the same time that you're looking for that history. So you can see on here, I have AT&T and it pops up with my AT&T internet. Now, if I wanted to see the history on here, I can see all of the devices that have ever been connected on here. I could always kick any of those devices off. I can check any history on anything that has connected, anything that has been incoming or outgoing, websites that I visited or anyone has visited on my router. Now, this will look different depending on whether you have AT&T or you have a different type of internet but I'm just gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna go to diagnostics. You can see I can run full diagnostics and that will help me to be able to see all of the information about my router. And I can also tap on logs here. So once you get into the logs, you'll be able to see all of the incoming and outgoing information on your router. So I can zoom in. And you can see source IP address and destination IP address. So for some of these, you won't necessarily understand what that is. It's not an actual website. So 99.10.89.58 doesn't mean a whole lot. However, all you need to do is copy this IP address and then just go over to Google and Google that specific IP address and see essentially what that means or what is that IP address attached to. And same thing with any of these other ones. So you can go through here and you can see this entire history. And on any of these, again, you can just go in there and copy that IP address and use it into Google to see what websites were visited, what apps were used, any of that on your router. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.